Hello, ladybugs and gentle beeswax. This is a short video, or as short as I can make it, about using text mod with Dead Space 2 by Snoopy Dog. That's yours truly. And let's see what the focus of this is. Text mod is for getting suit mods like this one into the Dead Space 2 game. It also works with other games so the process will be exactly the same this is one of my mods it's called the unitology task force suit and it actually replaces the in-game riot security suit this doesn't get added you won't find the name of this suit actually in the game you just have to remember that that's what it is you'll get the hang of it of course when you start using uh, uh, mods in dead space 2 or any other game for that matter so that's what we're going to do so we can quit that and I'll just minimize fast on viewer and we'll go to the top of this document this document here by yours truly Snoopy instructions on using text mod for Dead Space 2 um, this particular wordpad RTF file you can get that by um, PMing me on my YouTube channel, that's my YouTube channel, and this video that accompanies uh, uh, this document um, can be found there in the text mod playlist using text mod playlist. Okay, so we're going to try to do this quickly and succinctly. I've got a bit of a cold, so if I mess up, you'll know why right here we go please read that and I'm assuming you'll have read it by now and let's go down to the next section now please read this and in that particular section there's a there's a couple of action, couple of actions to perform so please do that they're all very straightforward now we're going to say here this section here describes that the DVD version or should I say the non steam version is different the process for getting text mod to work is different than that of the steam version the steam version is the more complicated one see this here so that's what that's what we're going to focus on and it will make more sense as we get to it so they're all relatively straightforward but the steam one is a little bit more um, involved so let's go find that section in this folder steam so let's go look for it steam there it is following is for the steam version right not the DVD I've explained that yeah so please read this at your leisure and the next thing is our first action to get text mod to work with the steam version as you can see it says copy text mod to the St steam directory so I'm assuming you'll know where that is um, mine is here there you go steam apps common dead space 2 and this is the root of dead space 2 where the XE is right because I've already done this I've created a separate folder to pretend Dead Space 2 pretending we're pretending <coughs> excuse me we're pretending that this is the root folder I've actually put a copy of Dead Space 2 XE in just just so you know because I say copy it to that folder where the Dead Space 2 XE is located yeah so that's where it's located at the moment. It'll all become clear. We're just pretending that that is the uh, root folder, and, you, and I'll make it clear as we go on. So let's copy text mod in there, right? Then we go to the next part, and I say, please, before doing anything else, back up your copy of Dead Space 2 and rename it. So that's what we're going to do copy paste. So we've got a copy, and I'm going to rename it to uh, Dead Space 2 and change the XC name to old there we go and that graphic there in the document should match but in a slightly different order 
but the actual contents are the same. Remember that the old Dead Space 2.old is just a backup, it never actually gets used. Right. Now rename Dead Space 2 XE to Real Dead Space 2. Now the smart people will already know, I guess, what we are doing here. And then whoops, and then rename text mod to Dead Space 2. So that's what we are going to do, aren't we? There we go. So now I'll click the graphic on the document. They match also, don't they? Well, the contents do. And just to show you that that's what we have actually in the root. So now we can ignore the pretending. We can go into the root. You can see we have a dead space 2xe. I put a little note above there, just just to show you that this one is actually the text mod. It's not actually Dead Space 2, it's just pretending to be Dead Space 2. And there's the real Dead Space, so those are the two changes we made, and there's the backup. So they do exist in the root, that's the point. Okay, now I say here, if you did this, whoops, if you did this correctly, now when you choose Dead Space 2 in your Steam library, or you click the shortcut that you created from the Steam, from the Steam client. Um, it will launch what it believes to be Dead Space 2, but actually it's TextMod instead that launches. So let's go see. We'll go to um, Dead Space 2. I'm going to right click and press play game. And look, TextMod launches. Now that's important because it's text mod that's going to get the mods into the actual game and we've and and it's the in between stage we're essentially fooling at the steam client the steam client doesn't do a binary check of the ex executables content so it's no idea it's just looking for a name and its name is dead space 2xe so it's got a shortcut to that itself it knows that's what it's um, it's going to launch in this case of course it launches text mod and just to show you that that is the case if we go to details now can you see Dead Space 2 is running. No, it's not. But Steam thinks it is. And that's the important thing. Okay. Now let's just go down here. Because we've got one more action to perform. When TextMod launches, set the target application to real Dead Space 2. So now you know why I renamed that particular real Dead Space 2 to actually real Dead Space 2. It's because we needed to do it this way. Full um, steam into thinking Dead Space 2 is running and then we really run it. We really run the real Dead Space 2. So we click the target application, look, uh, tooltip highlights, click to select an application. So we're going to select it and there it is. Now you would have to navigate to yours. Um, uh, this list only starts to fill up once you've actually used uh, text mod for modding games okay but when you do you can just go back to them so i'm going to click that because it's quicker and there we are we are now good to go and i've just said here essentially we're fooling the steam client i've said that already and then i also say now we can jump back to the section labeled all game versions because the process now is the same it's identical um, we just needed to make some name changes in the Steam version. You don't have to do that in the DVD version. But for completeness, instead of jumping back just to the old game version, I'm actually going to jump just a bit further up from that. You'll see in a second. I'm going to close this because that's the Steam version. I'm, going, I'm now going to run the DVD version. Look, watch, that'll go off now. Look. Right, so we're no longer running the game. Steam thinks we were. We're not. We never were. Right, let's go back to where it says all versions. There we go. But, whoops. But just above that is the DVD version. You see, the following instructions are for that. So, you should have, if you've followed 
my explanation at the beginning you should have actually created a shortcut to run text mod so wherever you put it go run it and so mine's at the bottom there look on the taskbar can you see that tooltip highlighting it tm text mod launch so there we go there's the graphic they match don't they yeah and then I do the same thing look you'll see a target application you need to find out where your hard copy your DVD version of Dead Space 2 is um, mine is there look in E drive yeah so that's what we're going to actually run so now when I go to target a application I choose that you'll have to navigate if, if, if you haven't got the Steam version and now we're at the point where I'm talking to a DVD um, game owner this is what you would be running okay so you click that and now we're exactly where we were before we left the Steam version so everything now all the processes are now are identical right so now we've done it we can go to all game versions so you can see that package mode that, that matches see read this bit please um, Unitology Task Force Suit, remember that's the one that we're going to load. So, also in text mode, we've got logging mode and package build. Ignore those, they're not subjects of this video. So, I then say here, click the yellow folder opposite package name because the package name are, are the actual mods. So, let's click that. Is Unitology Task Force Suit in there? No, it's not. So, we're going to have to browse for it. Well, I'm going to cheat slightly because I'm going to go to, um, where am I going to go to? I'm going to go to um, Visor Color White. I'm going to do that first. The reason is, is it automatically opens that folder. When we go browse now, you'll see it opens all the Visor folders. But just above that, so I go up a level, under new suits in age, age of seven we've got right security suits and there's unitology task force suit that's the one we're going to load so we open it and just move that down right next bit is covered here once correctly selected it should show you that and click the mod file name and you'll get details and that's what we did so that should match this it does so selecting the unitology task force suit it explains there it replaces the riot security suit it doesn't add it it replaces it and there's a few, you know a, a short description of the some of the changes that take place right um, now I say click the folder again and add some white color mod so I'm going to add white visor I've done that already health and stasis is that in there no it's not so let's um, let's go to the visor and let's go to health and stasis that, that's one up as well health and stasis we'll add the white one again you'll have to navigate to that and now you should have let's move this up so it's a bit more easy on the eye so that's what we've got loaded in yeah yeah uh, let me select unit that's that matches now okay right now i'm saying assuming that this is all we're loading to the game you're good to go you could add more mods and i'm going to because this is a video i can do what i like i didn't include it in here because it just adds more stuff to do but I can sh quickly show you how we do it let's add the triage javelin let's add the detonator and is the plasma cutter there no it's not so let's go find that there's the forged plasma cutter I want so now we have six items don't we one two three four five six now I say here important and I talk about the color mods they need to be at the bottom of the load order so moving using the arrow keys we'll move them down to the bottom of the load order 
and we'll make sure that we leave the unitology task force suit or whatever suit mod you are actually using it works for for or is it, we're just using the unitology um uh, suit as a uh, as an example but it could be any of the mods that i've done and i've done lots okay so now we are good to go sorry about that that's a text message a very inopportune moment okay so then I say now you should be good to go okay I'll just click that there just so you can read that and now read that because I'm essentially saying this only works if you've actually got the suit it doesn't give you a new suit it doesn't bypass you know um, the acquiring of schematics to build suits um, the Riot Security Suit, for instance, is acquired after a complete playthrough on any difficulty. Um, and it's at the first seat, suit kiosk. At, well, the first suit um, store. So, when you get to the store, you will have access to the Riot Security Suit. But only after you've completed the game at least once. Okay? Um, and that will go for all the others. Because I've done lots of different mods using different suit types. That's the thing to remember. Now we are ready to go. And I can say press run. Dead Space 2 will launch. And it will. Trust me. It will launch. And it will have the Unitology Task Force suit. However, let's go down the bottom here. A quick recap of what's covered in this installation guide. You got that? Right. This part is important, see. I explain here about the replacing of the suit. Um, it's not a separate item. You don't get a new mesh and a new name. In you will not you will not find any reference to the Unitology Task Force suit actually in Dead Space 2. I think that should be clear now. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy the mods and um, it's best wishes and happy gaming. From me, Snoopy. What I'm going to do though is that this isn't the end of the video, this is just the end of this section. I am going to press run and we'll see you again shortly, actually in game. And we'll put on the Unitology Task Force suit just to show you it all worked. So for the time being, let me just say goodbye.